Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back, or if you're new, hey girl, hey. So today I have a brand new foundation to review for you guys. Actually, just kidding. I don't think it's brand new. I think it's been out for quite a few months now, but I'm going to be reviewing it and doing a wear test. One of my subscribers did request for me to do a wear test, so this is for you, my love. But anyway, today I have for you guys the Lancome Ultra 24 Hour Long Wear Matte Foundation. I'm really intrigued by this because this is a matte foundation, full coverage with hyaluronic acid, so it does have those skincare ingredients in it. So I'm excited to put this up to the test. Let's go right in. Okay, so I got mine in the shade 125 Warm, which is for fair to light skin tones with warm golden undertones. So that's usually what I go for. It looks like it's going to be a little bit light, but we're just going to go for it. This is one pump. And it's very runny. That means we're going to get a lot of blending time, which I can't complain about. And one pump was more than enough for half of my face. But I definitely feel like for your whole face and neck and all that stuff, you're probably going to need two pumps. So I'm going to do this side with a beauty blender. And I'll probably do my other side with a brush just to see if there's any difference. Okay. It blends in super easily. And as of right now, it's looking like a little bit of a light to medium coverage. Maybe we need to build this up to get that full coverage out of it. So this is a full coverage natural matte foundation with sweat and waterproof long wear. Now ultra breathable and packed with skin loving ingredients. Okay, so this is what one layer of it looks like. This side has it on. This side does not. What do you guys think? It says on there it's supposed to be full coverage. So I am going to go in with a little bit more just to build it up and see what we can get out of it. Because this looks like it's not full coverage. Shade wise, I feel like it's a tad bit too light for me. Um, but yeah, still same amount of coverage. I definitely will say that this is more of a medium coverage at most. I really don't see this being full coverage. I can still see a bunch of little freckles or moles, whatever you want to call them right there. I still see a couple of breakouts and I still see a little bit of redness peeking through as well. What do you guys think? And I really like how it applies with the beauty blender, but let's go in on the other side with the brush and see if maybe that'll give us a little bit more coverage. Okay, so on the Sephora site, under how to use, it does say apply it with the brush for maximum coverage. So, let's put that up to the test. Okay, so I will admit on the side that I blended in with the brush, there is more coverage on that side. As you guys can tell, this side was blended in with the Beauty Blender, this side with the brush. What do you guys think? Definitely more coverage on this side. Even though I did build it up on this side, there is a lot more coverage on this side. This side definitely is giving full coverage vibes versus this side is a little bit more medium, natural finish. Um, yeah. Okay, what do you guys think? I'm actually going to go in with what's left of my hand and add it in on this side. Just so hopefully we can even out both sides. Because right now I'm looking a little bit crazy. And we want to look the same. Because we are going out. Okay, so now I feel like I have a little bit of a more even skin tone going on. But yes, you guys. So definitely I would say with the brush gives it way more full coverage. If you want to go for something a little bit more light to medium coverage. With a natural glowy like skin like finish. Definitely use a beauty blender. But if you're looking for that full coverage look, go for the brush. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to let you guys know how it's going. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. The foundation is still looking super good. The complexion overall looks absolutely flawless to me. Like, ugh, look up close, you guys. It looks absolutely flawless. I'm in love with how the complexion looks. Let me know down below what you guys think. Definitely leave a comment down below saying anything at all that you have in mind. I will do a wear test and I'll be back later on today to let you guys know how it's going to show you what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I'll be back and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so it's been a little bit over 12 hours at this point. I was filming this video at 9 a.m. It is now 11 p.m. So that's what, 14 hours? Um, so I definitely think I love this foundation so far. It's so good. Even my boyfriend said that my complexion looks really good. Um, I can say that I see that it creased anywhere, but I probably should do like a close up. Let me see. It creased on one of my smile lines. 
but other than that it looks absolutely flawless still i definitely think i could keep going with this makeup i even did a little bit of a workout 15 minute pilates workout nothing crazy but it lasted through that it's lasted through the whole day i've done a lot today and yeah guys this is a keeper i think i absolutely love it and yeah if you guys are looking to splurge on a new foundation, something that's beautiful, lasts long, flawless, full coverage, all the good things, I definitely recommend this one. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this review. And if you did, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and a subscription before you go. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.